from the great state of Texas driving a 1940 pickup rat ride he calls Helen this is Colin Thomas <laughs> Got the rat rod in tow. We're on the way to Cleus and Cars, Indianapolis. We're going to stay in Arkadelphia, Arkansas tonight. Uh, visit some friends over there, pick up in the morning, and head over to Indy. We gotta try and slide you while you're on it. Ready? Go ahead. All right, we're in Indy, guys. Rolled in about midnight last night. Stopped at this breakfast house. That's something we've been doing in all these police and car events. We get up a little earlier. Oh, these six Mustangs. Um, anyway, we get up a little early and go to these breakfast houses that are like not IHOP, not Waffle House, none of the supply chains. We go to like these breakfast places that are unique to the area and it's pretty good. You guys should try it. I got ready to unload the rat rod and realized that the uh, keys for the rat rod and the lock on the trailer uh, was at the Airbnb. So just went and got those and now I'm on my way to the track. That sucked. We're all excited to go set up the set up the rat rod and everything, but on my way back. And Indy has all these all these stoplights on the way there and you will not hit two green ones in a row, I guarantee you. Alright guys, made it over to Indy. This place is packed. Sorry about the wind noise. This place is packed. Got all the top alcohol drag shoes on the other side of our pits. Everything's gonna turn out pretty good today. I'm excited. What's going on? Well, we're here in Indy and we're sitting in line. We tried getting up front, but by the time we even got over here, we got here early compared to what they said to come over. Probably one of the last ones in line, so. It is what it is, but we're uh, we're sitting here. The crowd is huge. This is probably the biggest place of cars I've been to. I don't, even Bristol didn't feel this big. So this is, this is huge. So I just hope the front end works. I hope that we don't have any issues with the electrical. I hope that the fuel is fixed. I hope that all the stuff that we've been thrashing for the last month is fixed and we can just have a good run. We're going to go out there, pop tires, and whatever happens after that, we're all good. From the great state of Texas, driving a 1940 pickup rat ride, he calls Helen. This is Colin Thomas. Come on, baby. Come on. 
on. It was fuel starving, and then he figured something out, but still having a little bit of trouble there at the end. came off. I think we I think we said did something to the motor because it's it's locked up. <laughs> oh what radiator does come off? Oh the bottom one. Bottom one there. Okay. Huh. It was gnarly when it was going. Dang it dude what the hell? What the bloody hell? What the hell is even that? <laughs> I'm just happy that I started getting the rip going. Yeah. One day, one day I'll actually do a ticket. But dude, I didn't even have to do it. It didn't even like third. The second I got into third, it just the second I clicked third, it shuts off. I don't get it. Like the second it clicked third, it shut off. I don't know. I hit data log, so hopefully, hopefully we'll have the data log on there. I shut the key off. But I don't think you gotta, I think if you just turn the ECU off, it shuts it off. Hopefully. Okay, so it has start, so I must have shut it off. Either shut it off or didn't log, so we'll figure it out. But I did hit start. <laughs> did you shut it off when you went to start it lap? Again? It won't turn over. Plunk, plunk, plunk. No, when you were in the burnout pit. Did you shut it off and then 
Turn it on? Yeah. Okay, then it, uh, it didn't get the rest of the data log. What's that? It didn't get the rest of the data log then. Well, you know. What are you gonna do? Oh, Rat Rod didn't do so hot. Dan, on the other hand, Dan took it home. Dan did the whole freaking thing. Artificial, but ugly. Bomb diggity was the bomb diggity. <laughs> All right, everyone, so I'm out here after the burnout contest at the uh, Airbnb, and I just, I wanted to make sure I pulled the plugs because when I got done after trying to start this thing uh, at the burnout contest, it just sounded locked up. It was just like super not good. So I wanted to see if maybe we blew a head gasket and got water in the cylinders, but all the spark plugs are dry. All the marks on the spark plugs look pretty good as far as timing and feeling goes. So... I don't know. I'm going to get this home, do a compression test, do a leak down, kind of look everything over on the motor and see where we're sitting. Um, if it needs work, we'll take this thing and get it into LME and get some machine work finished up on it. But that's just kind of where it sits. Obviously, you can see that radiator hose right there, blue. Uh, wherever it's sitting. Sitting right here. Blew off. Um, that kind of sucks. So you have to fix that. Um, but even then it didn't get hot. The hottest it got was 215 when it was running. I looked at the data log when it sat there, it went up to like 225, but not hot, not anything. I looked over the data log, found out, I looked over the data log and found out, oh, this looks like creepy ghost stories. <laughs> um, went over the data log, found out that I'm losing crank signal. So um, not good. I made this harness myself, so to be expected. Um, I'm gonna have to, I don't know, maybe just get a Holly harness, just pull the trigger and push screen around and get one, or I don't know, maybe see if there's another one, or I'm not sure. You have to look into that, but anyway, I just had to know. So I pulled the plugs and that's where we're at. All right, everybody. Well, not really the uh, outcome that we wanted, but you know what? I had fun. This new front end is freaking killer. It, it sucks at the tip end and I'm having some weird issues. I went over the data log a little bit, but I'm not really sure what it is. I think I'm having an ignition problem somewhere. I'm not losing signal as far as the crank goes. So I'm not really sure what the deal is there. Um, it just, it's dropping RPM, it's cutting off. Um, eventually I did lose fuel pressure today, but for, but it wasn't dying in the beginning because of fuel pressure. So. I got two things to address. I need to figure out a better fuel system, and then I need to figure out uh, why this thing's cutting off. I, it's an electrical issue somewhere. I'm not really sure. What the hell are they doing? Anyway, guys, we're gonna go take off and uh, go get some food. But we didn't place. We got LS Fest um, two weeks from now, and I'm not really sure why, but this thing won't start either. So. Uh, I don't know if we have gasket or I, something's not right with the motor, so we gotta address that uh, when we get back.